coming back to the present moment and a little bit into the future right can you share what are you up to these days and what are your plans for the future sure so i actually left my last role a few weeks ago <clears throat> i was with the company for a couple of years and um the one's a fantastic company, super high growth. And when I joined, there were a series of challenges and problems that, that um, we leaned into and made a lot of great progress against. And um, I, I just decided that it was time for something new. And so I actually thought I'd take some time off. I've never done that really in the 35 years that I've been, been working since, since I graduated from high school and college back and forth, graduate school. But um, yeah, I just felt like it was time to lean in. And so I'm actually planning on taking my family to Central America for about three months. And I have a 12 year old daughter who's going to go to a bilingual school and learning to speak Spanish. And I'm planning on using it as a time to do a lot of exploration, reconnecting with people I've worked with over the years and not jumping into the next thing right away, actually allowing myself some time to, to go deep on things that I don't know about, read more books. Um, maybe write some code, I don't know. Yeah. I don't can, you, yeah. can you share a bit more about what sparked this decision to take a sabbatical rather than jump on to the next big thing? Yeah, I think it was, listen, I mean, the last few years have been challenging and unique. As I said, I started my last job during the pandemic, uh, working entirely remote, working kind of very different hours. Because the team grew in size, when I joined Go On product team, product engineering, IT, design, et cetera, was about 60 people. By the time I left, it was about 175. That's a ton of growth. And I was with my the company before that, what called Payscale, for almost nine years. I'd never worked remote, fully remote. Um, at Payscale, we were 100% here in Seattle, everybody working in the office. Then we went up acquiring a few companies around the United States. and kind of had this remote hybrid that was working quite well. Uh, but I just going from, as I think I mentioned, fully remote with the challenges of learning to do that as a person, as an individual employee, and then massive amount of travel. I've, in the last year, I've been to Australia a couple of times, Vietnam, Europe, many parts of the United States. Just a, a, a challenge kind of creating that work-life balance that I think is really important.